Logical filtering and sorting is going to allow you to extract exactly what you want to see from a gigantic spreadsheet. Once you master how to do this, you may even want to just look up all your data and information from your spreadsheet rather than having to run a report from your HRIS system. Seriously, it's very useful. If you go ahead up here to the data ribbon and then click on filter. This is going to add the little drop down to each of the cells in your header. And this is going to allow you to sort and filter your, your spreadsheet. So right now, if we drop down, say, the department code, everything is selected. So your entire spreadsheet is visible. But let's say we just want to look at a couple different departments. We're going to click on select all, which unselects everything. And then we're just going to click on a few of the departments that we want to take a look at, and we'll click OK. This narrows down the report significantly and only shows us what we want to look at. We may want to copy and paste this information of just these few departments to the head of that division, and uh, this allows us to do that very easily. The one thing you, that you do need to keep in mind with your filters is that once you've filtered off of one column, that's kind of your baseline. And the more the next column that you filter off of, you just have to keep that in mind that this can build on each other and uh, you have to be a little bit logical about it and not um, make any mistakes about missing out on some data or information that you've previously filtered out if you didn't intend to. The way that you can clear your filters is just go up here and hit clear, and that'll clear your filters whether you filtered on one column of information or several, that'll clear all of your filters. So let's go ahead. Um, the nice thing too is if you drop down, you can do different text filters. So for example, um, why don't we say position code? If you have smart position codes for your jobs at your company, that's great. Let's say that we want to filter by any position code that ends with a 10. And that might mean something to you for your smart coding. And then that will narrow your list down to all of the position codes that end in 10. And then to further refine that, let's say that we want to search for only job titles that contain the clerk in the title. And that's going to narrow it down even further. So it's a great way that you can just narrow down your information and look specifically just at the things that you want to see. And so now that we've narrowed this down, if we want to see information related to just that group, let's say we want to see the, av um, the total salaries of your narrowed down group, we know we can highlight that column and come down here and we can see that the average, the count, and the sum of that information. So it's a great way, uh, sorting and filtering is, is a great way that you can just narrow down and quickly look at the things that you want to see, whether it's something you just want to look at quickly or, like I said, copy and paste it into another report. I'm going to go ahead and clear my filters, and let's sort now on, um, why don't we do years of service? So I'm going to click on sort. And then I'm going to select my drop down. I want to see years of service. And let's say that we want to see the list from largest to smallest and click OK. And so now my report is going to show for years of sort service. You'll see that little arrow there. That means that it's sorting ascending down or descending, I should say. And so that the person who's been here the longest has been here 16.9 years, and they're going to be listed at the top. So it's a quick way that you can use the sorting feature. And then you can also sort upon sort. So let's say that you've sorted by years of service. We want to add a level, and then we're going to want to sort by last name. Perhaps we want to see, the, see it alphabetically. You can do it like that as well. So sorting and filtering, it's something that you'll be able to use. Like I said, use it logically. Remember what you've sorted and filtered, and, uh, and you'll use it every day. There are all sorts of advanced filtering and sorting features in Excel. For example, if you've color coded your spreadsheet, you can actually sort by color. But you don't need to get too fancy to get 
to reap all the benefits that you can get from just your basic filtering and sorting. Be sure to visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Download your free quick reference guide for very helpful HR formulas. And subscribe to my channel. Click in the comments below. Let me know if there's any additional information you'd like me to share with you or additional tutorials you'd like to see.